Do I want it? Yes. Do I need it? I know I should say no, but my brain is going to rationalize the purchase and say yes. Now, I've been a digital minimalist for over a year now, and I still struggle with Black Friday. As somebody who loves tech and loves everything about saving money, I find that these deals can be irresistible and very tempting. But this year, I'm going to approach Black Friday and its evil stepsister, Cyber Monday, a bit differently. I've come up with a step-by-step -step guide or survival list that I'll be implementing this year and hopefully I will not come out of it broke and with a bunch of devices that I don't need. Step one, I'm going to use the dumbest phone that I have on hands. This means a phone with no email and no browser because a lot of companies will be sending emails, of course, but they also send text messages with links. And if I select the link and I have no browser, I won't be tempted to look at the deals. You can also dumb down your existing smartphone, get rid of your browser, and turn off email notifications. Also, redirect those emails to the spam folder so you don't see them to begin with. Step two, declutter. Take stock of the items that you already have. Can you sell some of those items you're no longer using? Can you re-gift them to somebody in your family or friends group this year in order to save money on buying gifts? I have a lot of items that I resell regularly, so I'd definitely be going through the stock of the items I'm no longer using and reselling them as soon as possible. I also have items set aside that I intend on gifting this year, and this is an excellent way, again, to save money, but also the environment. Step three make a list of the things you actually need. The problem with Black Friday and Cyber Monday, they give you this feeling that it's a once in a life deal and if you don't buy it now, you'll never have that deal again. But most times it's on things we don't actually need. I find myself buying things that I have lying around or I intend to use for something and I never do use them. I just bought them because it was a good deal. I've been getting a lot of incentives to update my smartphone which I don't use. I only use it for content production and honestly, I don't need to upgrade it, but those deals really make you feel like you're going to miss out. One of the great things about being a digital minimalist is that I'm not influenced by social media because I don't have it. But just because I don't have social media doesn't mean I don't exist in the world. There's other ways you can be influenced. You can be influenced again by your emails and text messages, but you can also be influenced by your friends and family and even watching the TV. You'll see these things bombarded at you for advertisements that really say, this is going to be a once in a life deal. If you don't trade in your phone now, you'll never be able to do it. And it's really hard to resist those urges. So again, make a list of the things you actually need. For example, for me, mine is mostly memory card and hard drive related. I am a content producer, so I do have a lot of videos and I like to organize them and declutter my digital space by using these memory cards and hard drives. So I'm going to make a list of the exact items that I'm looking for and when Black Friday or Cyber Monday arrives and I look for those items and they're not there, I'm not gonna buy anything else. Step four, use the sales to your advantage. Now is the time to take stock on the subscriptions or monthly plans that you're in and see if you can switch them out to save some cash. Each year I change my cell phone carrier and plan because this saves me a couple bucks. Especially recently, a lot of my plans have been adding charges because of the cost of energy going up and using the inflation as an excuse. And so I use the excuse around this time of year because the deals are the best to change my cell phone carrier to save a few extra bucks a month. Now I know it's a pain in the butt, but a lot of carriers nowadays will do all of the hard work for you by ending your previous contracts and starting a new one. Also, subscriptions. It's important to take stock of the subscriptions you have. Are you still using them? And if you are, some subscriptions, if you threaten to cancel those subscriptions, will give you an additional six months or a few months free in order to incentivize you to stay. I've done this with multiple subscriptions and this helps you save money over the year. If you decide to stay with them, that's fine, but you can also get some free months out of it. Step five, if you do need to buy items, I highly suggest buying refurbished or open box. 
When I'm buying tech, I generally go refurbished, whether it's older or not that old, you'll still find good deals. For example, I use sites such as Back Market, mostly for computers. I use CellP to sell my phones, as well as buy new phones, and eBay. Now, eBay is a bit more risky. You have to know who the seller is. I recommend going to business sellers because they're more specialized in refurbished items and being able to evaluate the items. And if the item is not working properly, a lot of them have a 30 day guarantee or a one year guarantee, depending on the age of the device. As far as open box is concerned, a lot of major retailers offer this service and most notably Amazon. If you're looking for a new item that has just come out, chances are somebody's already bought it, didn't like it, and returned it, and you can get a great savings on those open box deals. Most all of the new tech that I've bought is always open box. I don't waste time buying something brand new because chances are somebody's already bought it and returned it by now, and why not save some money? So those are my five main steps for my survival guide for Black Friday and Cyber Monday this year. Do you have any tips or tricks? Leave them down below. Sharing is caring. And thank you so much for watching and see you soon.